what's up y'all what's up youtube i know it's been a minute i got pregnant again i had a baby you already know i got a one year old so that's why i was gone for so long hopefully all of that is over i can just focus on raising my children working in youtube and getting my life together i miss being on camera i really do but you know being a mom it's a lot of work so i gotta find the time like right now they are asleep so i got a lot of time on my hands right now you find yourself doing a lot when your kids are asleep you try to anyways a lot of people say oh, you gotta sleep when they're asleep in what world do you live in okay because in my world you do everything else while they're asleep because my one-year-old is on the go so that's what I did while they were asleep today. I said, I'm going to record. So I hit you guys with a natural beat. And I'm going to call it natural beat just because it's natural. It looks like, you know, you could do this every day. But I might add the beat at the end because I have on lashes. I normally don't wear lashes on an everyday basis. Lashes is, a, is like a, a full glam look for me. Okay. I'm just throwing that out there. But I was like, hey, I got these lashes. Let me throw them on. So I did. So this is the look that I am coming with. Okay. Um, I got a lot of new products. Like a lot. Like I have so many palettes, so many foundations, mascaras, concealers. Things that I want to share with you guys. Like I'm overwhelmed with products. And it's like, what am I doing? I'm just sitting on all this product. I want to share it with you guys. So I'm going to try to hit you guys every week with new tutorials vibrant glam hollywood glitters i might throw in some hair probably not but i'm just gonna throw that out there just in case i do and also some lifestyle videos because you know being a mom you have a lot to talk about okay the first one i'm probably gonna hit you guys with is a natural birth versus medic natural birth versus being on medicine like epidurals and it's another type of medicine you can get that they put in your IV just because I did both I had an epidural with my first one natural with the second and I really want to tell you guys about my experience just because there's a lot of new moms out there people that don't have kids that want to know or even moms that have already had both done and want to hear somebody else's story and laugh and you know reminisce so I'm going to be hitting you guys with lifestyle videos as well. But if you want to see how I achieved this bomb look, just keep watching. Hello, beautiful ladies. So I'm going to start by prepping my skin, spraying it with some Fix Plus spray, and adding some Hydra Beauty Lip Balm to my lips because they've been crusty since I've been pregnant. Use chicken grease. I don't care as long as your lips ain't crusty. All right. Next, we're going to put some powder on my face. This is going to give you that hardcore, like, sturdiness to your foundation if you get oily like I do. Now, I'm going to go in with my Timeless Primer and my Professional Primer. Timeless is from Tarte. Yes, I just dropped a big glob of it on the floor. I'm clumsy. I do tend to do that a lot. I love this primer because it's a smooth primer, but it's also thicker than the professional. So I feel like it gives me that heavy duty sturdiness that I want in a primer, but I still got to go in with my professional. I can't let this primer go. I don't think I ever will be able to let it go. Y'all let me know if y'all find something better. But as of right now, I'm still a heavy duty. Like, I love that primer. Next, I'm going to go in with my Stay Naked Foundation, and I'm going to use my IT Foundation Brush to buff that out. I like this foundation because it is lightweight. It's a medium to full coverage, so that means it's buildable, but it's still very lightweight. I can't stand a heavy foundation. Um, I don't like to feel like foundations on my face just because I do so many steps, so I need something that's going to be lightweight. The color that I'm using is 71WY. Don't ask me why they're, the name is like that. I don't know. There's so many different shades, though, so I guess that's their meaning behind it. Ask Urban Decay. I don't know, but that's my color. Next, I'm going to do brows. I'm using my 7B Brow Brush from Anastasia and my Dirty Morphe, Morphe Brush to carve out my brows, and the color in the dip brow that I'm using is 
Ebony. And I'm just going to go and draw a soft line on top and bottom of my brows. Blend that out. And just keep blending. You're going to keep blending. Like, I like to blend, blend, blend because I want my brow to look as natural as possible. I can't stand that thick, dark looking brow. So that's why I go in, add product, blend it, add product, blend it. And literally, you keep doing that until you get the brow that you're satisfied with. And I like to go in with um, whatever's left on my brush and literally draw little teeny lines at the tip of my brow to kind of give you like that hair stroke feel to make it look even more natural. Now I'm going to carve out my brows using the um, Tarte Shape Tape. And this is the color Deep. I would be honest, I love, love, love this concealer, but I hate the colors that they have. It's like when it when it's in the tan and deep family it does a big jump from tan to deep so i literally had to buy two which i know that's not feasible it's not practical it's not but i'm an impulse shopper sometimes if i want it i want it so i bought both of them i will say it's a good it's a good concealer it's a nice concealer so what I'm doing right now is I'm carving out my brows. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to kind of make your brows look like twins or close to being twins instead of being far stepsisters. <laughs> um, so you carve out your brows and then you're going to kind of connect. Boom, you see, you're connecting what you carved. So that way they kind of force each other to be symmetrical. Now I'm going to take this brush and buff out the concealer. And I like to add a little bit of concealer on my eyelid. Um, just to kind of give it my eyelids that matte feel because my eyelids get oily. Everything on my face gets oily. You would think now my body's been going through so many changes that it would change, but it's, it's not. My eyelids are super oily. So I add concealer to kind of set them now I'm going to go in and set my brows with a 24-hour brow setter from Benefit. This has four different um, shapes or sizes on the comb, um, excuse me. And I love this brow setter. It keeps your brows intact all day, literally. They will go nowhere. Now I'm going to go in with my concealer, my MAC Pro Longwear. Oldie but a daggone goodie, okay? I love this concealer. A little goes a long way, and I'm using my Tarte Beauty Blender. I don't even think that's the name for it, but it's a beauty blender, so that's what I'm going to call it. I love this freaking sponge. It's the most softest sponge ever, and it blends things out beautifully. Like, I used to use a beauty blender, and I haven't touched my beauty blender since I bought this sponge. And, yeah. That I'm going to continue to carve out my face with some concealer, with my concealer. Um, down the bridge of the nose, forehead, and also the chin. Blend it out with my same beauty blender. I'm spraying my face with some Fix Plus. Get that hydration back in my skin. So my concealer blends out a lot more smoothly. Next, I'm going to go in with my Chanel powder and set my concealer. So I can make sure it does not move. I will set. I have to set my concealer soon as after. Soon after I finish putting it on, because it will move. And then I'm going down the bridge of my nose. And yes, I got it all on my shirt, but it's just powder. It'll come off. Next, I'm going to bronze using foundation because I have yet to find a bronzer that I like. I wish I could find one, but. It's fine. I can use foundation. And then I like the way these colors look on my skin. They actually look like a bronzer once you put them all together. So I'm fine with it. But if y'all know any bronzers that are beautiful for brown girls, hit me in my comments, please. Because I can't find one. Now I'm going to carve out those cheeks. Because, you know, we got to camouflage that baby fat gotta camouflage it because I feel like it ain't going nowhere and I keep eating damn Oreos every night so I don't think it's gonna go anywhere so we can just fake it till we make it that's what makeup is there for 
now what we're going to do is chisel that nose just a little bit i don't like doing too much because i can't stand a strong ass looking nose for no reason so we're just going to chisel a little bit and pull it up to the eyebrow bone to kind of give it that nice natural look to it just a little bit see even right there it still looks strong but we're gonna dust off that excess powder and then you're gonna see me transform right before your eyes, okay? Once you dust that powder off and you just get that soft baby skin look, like you just look like a, you fresh out the womb. <laughs> now I'm gonna add some blush. This is from my Pure Masquerade palette. I love this color blush, it's like a dusty rose. I didn't think I would like it at first but when I started wearing it, it just gives you that nice, I can't even think of the word, but it's like a pretty dusty rose color. It's gonna, it's like you're making a statement, but you're not doing a, too much. A little goes a long way. Next, we're going to highlight using the Chanel highlighter. I don't know what type of reflectors they put in this bad boy, but it is beautiful. A little, like I said, a little goes a long way. You just put a little bit on and you will glow for like for miles. Somebody could see my glow from a mile away, but it's still very light and subtle. And I'm going to add that on the balls of my cheeks, the cupid's bow, on the bridge of my nose. Not even the bridge, just the tip. And then my brow bow. And I'm going to put a little bit on top of my brows, just so when I raise my eyebrow, I do that rock brow. It's like you're making a damn good statement because you are highlighted for the gods. Okay? I love this highlighter. Blend that out and keep it moving. Next, we're going to do lashes from Pure. It's the Barbie collection. I love, love, love their lashes. What I like about the lashes is they're super lightweight. They make a statement. They're bold, but they are so lightweight. Like, I can't stand a heavy lash. So now I'm going to use Man Eater Mascara on my non-existent lashes honestly like they're they're gone i don't know what happened to my lashes but that's okay we can fix that with adding a lash okay and the glue that i'm using is from the velour sorry guys i like this glue because it literally it gets tacky within like 10 seconds and it's up there and it ain't going nowhere once you put that lash on so yeah you let it dry for 10 seconds, and as soon as you pop that bad boy on, it's up there. Now I'm going to line my bottom lash using the TARDIS eyeliner. This is a dual in it eyeliner. I love this eyeliner because once it's up there, it stays put. It's not going anywhere. I cry when I laugh, and it does not, it does not budge. Like, I love this eyeliner. Next, I'm going to pop that lash on. Boom. It's up there. You tack those ends and it's up there. It's not going anywhere. So you make sure you put it in the right spot because once you use this glue, it's not going anywhere once you put it up there. Now I'm going to use that other end of that eyeliner and line the top of my eyes and do a little teeny wing just because I feel like if I wear a liner, I mean a lash, I have to do a little wing. It just doesn't look right to me on my eyes if I don't. And now we're going to spray our face with some Fix Plus. Fix Plus. I'm sorry. Urban Decay All Nighter. <laughs> I'm so used to using Fix Plus. The lip liner that I'm using is from the Beauty, beauty Supply Store. 99 cents. I bought literally every brown that I could find in there. Just because I'm obsessed with brown lip liner. And now I'm going to go in with some Pure Lipstick. This is a, it's a really nice light nude color. And then I'm going to use my chanel lip gloss in the color 216 and that completes my look guys if you like this look just like comment subscribe and i'll be back next week with some more footage for you bye